after riding out the 180 mile per hour winds and massive rains in a hotel room and then a utility closet. This is absolutely a mind-blowing event that is unfolding right now. Miles of widespread destruction, homes and businesses destroyed, the full force of Mother Nature's fury as far as the eye can see. Authorities calling the destruction unprecedented. This morning, the Carolinas reeling after the wrath of Hurricane Dorian. Residents on Ocracoke Island assessing the damage after near record storm surge swamped neighborhoods. Homes and backyards flooded, cars left submerged, this whole street underwater. The hurricane making landfall with full force, bringing over a foot of rain and damaging winds. Dorian's winds recorded up to 110 miles per hour, ripping across the coast, pushing water inland. This after up to 20 reported tornadoes tore through North Carolina ahead of Dorian. Residents of Emerald Isle still trying to salvage what they can. The year's 13th typhoon also injured 24 people, including firefighters and police officers, out on disaster control calls. Lingling's powerful winds uprooted some 5,000 roadside trees and damaged more than 1,200 traffic signals and street lights.
The storms caused widespread damage across eastern Spain. Valencia was one of the worst hit regions. Rescue teams worked throughout the night after at least two rivers burst their banks. Almost 300 millimetres of rain fell in 24 hours, the heaviest rainfall recorded there in more than 100 years. Cars were swept away and roads blocked. Dozens of people had to be evacuated. The local mayor said it was a disaster. Entire streets in Niger's capital, Niamey, are submerged. Heavy rain and floods prove too much for retaining walls along the Niger River. Across the country, more than 12,000 homes have been destroyed.
only been two months since Mammoth closed its ski season. A few more days like this, though, and they might be ready to reopen mm -hmm. again because the resort just got its first new snow. That was on Wednesday night. It's still officially summer. Keep that in mind. In fact, the summer activities, mountain biking, uh, still open through this weekend, although there is snow on the ground. The resort had one of its longest ski seasons ever because there was so much snow and it lasted into May. The death toll in Kashmir has risen to 37 after an earthquake which devastated villages on Tuesday. Over 700 people have been injured after the 5.8 magnitude tremor hit the town of Mirpur, with thousands of homes reduced to brick and rubble, and thousands of people whose homes were damaged are still waiting for the arrival of government help 22 hours after the earthquake struck Pakistan's portion of disputed Kashmir.
In Indonesia, six people have died after a magnitude 6.5 earthquake hit the eastern Maluku province early on Thursday. More than 12 people were injured. A magnitude 5.6 aftershock was reported in less than an hour of the main tremor. Now, the quake damaged some buildings and triggered landslides. A number of residents were forced to flee their homes. No tsunami alert has been issued. I've seen this much water.